Hi there and welcome to my channel. I'm Jennifer. This is A Country Life and I just don't want to waste any time um, messing around with the introduction here more than that. We are going to do Sunday prep. It is 3.30 here on Sunday afternoon and I would like to get started on some Sunday prep here. So some of this is going to be for supper tonight that we're going to eat right away and then I am just kind of looking over my list here right now and deciding what types of things, is there any vegetables I can chop, is there meat that I could get out thawing, things like that to make the week go smoother. We're going to get started with making some uh, barbecue right away because, or sloppy joes, whatever it is you like to call it, but we call it barbecue around here. So I'm going to get that meat going, get the peppers, get the onions in here, and then we'll start working on a salad. Okay. What do we use for a scraper? Um... Yeah, so uh, you're not cutting my hair, Jenny. Uh-huh. Wow, nice. Honey. That is a beautiful onion. Way to go. If you have not ever made this Pioneer Woman um, barbecue or as she actually calls it sloppy joe's so when I link to it I will um, link to her sloppy joe recipe it's also in her food from my frontier cookbook so I will link that as well lots of great recipes in that cookbook Peter just went out and pulled this beautiful onion for me so we are now starting to use our garden onions this is just this a little flat and squatty but man that is a nice sized onion holy cow this onion has some serious power to it Okay, that's it for the barbecue here. What I'm going to do is just put the cover on, let that simmer away, and um, you know until it's fully cooked, and the flavors all go through it. And that is going to be plenty done when it's time for supper. We'll probably eat supper somewhere around 5:30, I would guess. Okay, so now we're going to get started with the antipasto. So into this, we are going to be putting, and I'm only making a half of the recipe because, um, yeah, I just don't think that there's going to be a lot of takers in my family on this recipe. So what I'm going to do is just kind of chop up some broccoli. I'm not even going to worry about making it into cute little florets. We're just going to kind of... When, or not broccoli, did I say broccoli? I mean cauliflower. And we also need some sliced zucchini, which I actually already have. I'm going to put, again, about a cup. I also need just a couple tablespoons of green onion. My green onions are not the freshest right now. I had gotten them for another recipe and used some of them, but not all of them. So, yeah, it's not super, super fresh. And we actually like the white part as well as the green. So on this one I'm going to cut some of the green here. That should be enough. Okay, so I didn't read the recipe completely clear, <laughs> clearly at first, but what I need to do is just have these three vegetables here and then I need a half cup of uh, this Italian dressing and um, a teaspoon and a half of lemon juice. What I'm going to do is put my lemon juice right in there and kind of swirl it around. Oops, sorry about that. Pour that in there. It is not going to have four hours in the refrigerator today. It's going to have probably about an hour. I asked Peter to go out and get me some lettuce <laughs> and it does say, let's see, for half a recipe I should have six romaine leaves, but no, six cups of torn romaine, I guess that would be the half of recipe. I think this is going to be plenty because again, remember, I don't think, I mean, I think Sam's going to try it and I think Warren will try this 
and I think I will be eating the bulk of it. Amber isn't home, but I do think she'd probably give us a whirl. I am going to tear out the big middle rib. Okay, so I have all of the remaining ingredient, ingredients except for the croutons in here because I really don't want the croutons to end up getting mixed with the dressing. I want to put those on top. Now, I am not a black olive fan, but I figured if there was any hope for um, my family to want to try this, they all love black olives, so I decided to put them in. I will just pick those out from my serving. So the meat in here is this original bite-sized dry salami. It called for a thin sliced turkey salami. This is what I was able to find. Uh, this actually does not have any turkey in it, but this is what I found that day, and so that's what I'm using. And this this is it. It's going to have all those veggies in. I'm really looking forward to this. This to me just looks delicious to me, sans the black olives. It also, the original recipe does call for mushrooms. Of course, I'm going to leave those out as well because I really, really despise mushrooms. So, okay, now you guys know a little bit more about me. So I do have plans to make some Western burgers this week, which uh, if you're not familiar with that, it's really just a hamburger patty cooked, you know, nicely seasoned. And then on top of that, we put uh, cheddar cheese with barbecue sauce and those uh, like French's French fried onion little strips. And then I feel like we put something else. Oh, and usually fried onions as well. And so did I say barbecue sauce? I think so. And that just makes a really tasty um, burger, kind of tastes a little bit like a restaurant burger if you like that kind of thing. So I sliced up the cheese to have that ready. And then also we are going to do a fish fry um, tomorrow night. And um, Peter, <laughs> he loves to catch fish. And so like in one of these bags, he has one little tiny filet. Uh, so I have no idea how much fish this is. I do have a six pack of corn dogs that I'll probably put with it. This one looks like it has maybe six or seven small, small fillets. The rest of these just one. So anyway, all I'm doing is just putting this in here. I'm going to put it out in the fridge in the garage, let it thaw for tomorrow, and at least the fish will be thawed. Okay, so tomorrow to go along with our um, fish fry, I thought it'd be kind of nice to make some of these soft Italian breadsticks. I have not made this recipe in a little while, and so rather than try to get out all of this tomorrow when I'm going to be busy because I'm doing my block schedule and I have things already earmarked for tomorrow, I thought I would just get all of the dry ingredients except the yeast uh, into this container. Then tomorrow I will pull out the bread machine, just put in the warm water and the butter, dump this entire pile uh, of dry ingredients in there, and then I will put the yeast on top and let it do its thing. Peter brought in another three zucchini <laughs> this afternoon when he went down to grab me some onions. And so I just put him in charge of starting to shred up the zucchini. We literally, I think, have 16 of them right now. So I realize that the steps I'm taking today might seem very, very small and like, oh, why don't you just do that on the day of? But try, but having the things kind of ready to go, it does keep me accountable. That's probably the biggest thing. It does keep me accountable to making the meals that I have planned because um, I find that, and I'm sure that this is how it is for so many um, home cooks, is that you plan out these meals and you have all the ingredients and then the day comes and all of a sudden the day got away from you for whatever reason. And sorry, we have a lot of extra background noise here today. <laughs> but, um, and then the day gets away from you and then all of a sudden it's like, oh, I was supposed to put that in. If I wanted to make bread, I really had to do that earlier in the day. Um, if I wanted to do this, I should have had it thawed. Oh, now I just don't have time. So doing some of this prep on Sunday, even if it's little things like opening the, the can of black olives and having them sliced, I mean, that only takes me less than five minutes to do, but you start adding up three or four or five different five minute tasks and that really can save you a lot of time in one day. So that's why I do this. Sometimes when I'm editing these, I think I hardly did anything at all, but it really, even these little things is very helpful. This is going to be the onion that we're gonna be frying up for the Western burgers this week. So I'm gonna get this all sliced up. Delicious, huh? 
So I also have plans on making beefaladas this week, so I'm uh, getting the rice ready right now, and I am going to go and get uh, uh, two pounds of ground venison. I'm not going to cook it up. It is frozen. It is five o'clock right now. We do need to eat supper, and I do still want to make a cake that we're going to be serving with tomorrow's supper. Supper is all done now. That antipasto salad was absolutely phenomenal. Sam and I both really, really liked it. Supper is all done, and it's time to uh, get back here to this Sunday prep because I have a few things left to do. Uh, this is a Boston cream pie poke cake, <laughs> and it just started as a yellow boxed mix, and then I just mixed up two small boxes of vanilla pudding with four cups of milk. Uh, before it had time to set up, I poured that over top. I'm gonna let that soak into all the little poke holes that I put into the cake. And tomorrow, I will actually frost the cake um, with just a can of chocolate frosting warmed up and then uh, pour it over the top. Can you have a piece mm. of zucchini? Yeah. Mm. Oops. Four. Yeah, but I'm just saying oh, that I, see. I mm -hmm. need one more scoop. Yeah. Because I did already. Is this too much? Mom, is that too much? No. Just, just set it off to the side now. <clears throat> you need four. Are you doing four? Yep. Are we doing the whole other bowl too? Yeah. Yeah. There's like water in this. Can't. Yeah. I also decided tonight to uh, start on the muffins that I said I was going to be doing for tomorrow. <laughs> Um, since I have some time and Maria is still working through the zucchini into the freezer bags, I thought I might as well just use that time because, you know, since I'm in the kitchen, I might as well. So since I was here, I thought I would just get all of the dry ingredients ready to do six batches of uh, zucchini chocolate chip muffins tomorrow. Just put it in the bowl. So it is 8 o'clock right now, or actually... Yeah, I guess a couple minutes before eight. Warren just took um, Joseph, Peter, Maria outside. They're gonna shoot 22 for a little while and um, like 22 long rifle, that kind of thing. And um, I was just looking over my list here. So basically I have things put together to make Western burgers this week. I have things put together to do a fish fry this week and I have food put together to do the beef aladas this week. Now, I really don't have that fully put together because I just have the right rice cooked up. I do still need to cook up the meat, but uh, the meat is frozen and I just didn't feel like dealing with that tonight, so I will uh, cook up the meat tomorrow. But I would like to do an onion in there, so I am going to quick cut up an onion. So Peter went down in the garden, brought me a couple more onions, a red onion, a yellow onion. So I'm going to cut up that yellow onion and put that in a container so that will be ready, <clears throat> excuse me, for tomorrow for when I want to cook up the meat. And then I think that's kind of like three meals. Now if we eat those for leftovers for lunch, there's a chance we might be going to a baseball game this week, which means that we would probably be eating there, I think. Um, 
so I kind of need about three or four meals. Now tonight's supper will have enough for uh, lunch tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm just kind of talking through this with you guys. This is just kind of how my brain works here as it starts getting a little later. I would also like to do bacon wrapped mini roasts. I don't want to get that out to thaw yet because if something were to happen this week and things were to get a little bit crazy or weird or some other meal kind of thing turns up, I really don't want to have my mini venison roasts already thawed for too many days. So I'm not going to get that out to thaw yet. But by Tuesday, I'll have a better handle on where the later part of the week is going to go, and then I'll get that meat out. But it just helps to know that I totally have that planned. I know I was going to make some more homemade rolls to go with that meal. I have the bacon in the freezer, the mini roasts are in the freezer, and then I was going to do seven-layer salad. I'm also not going to get the stuff prepped for the seven-layer salad because, again, just in case, you know, I just don't want to have vegetables that are already cut up that I end up not getting to and then maybe I'd have to I suppose I could throw them in eggs or something like that but I just don't have it in me right now I just don't want to do that uh, so I am going to cut up the onion because I know I'm going to do beefaladas and then I think we're going to call it a night I'm not going to end the video though right here I am going to come back tomorrow uh, in my kitchen block I have like a two hour kitchen block time and that's when we're going to do the muffins I'm going to put the frosting on the cake and we're going to put together the beefaladas and then Sunday prep <laughs> will be completely done Well, good morning. Here I am back in the kitchen again. It's actually not morning morning per se, but it is in the a.m. So it's about 1030 right now, and I'm going to give myself about two hours here right now to work in the kitchen doing like my kitchen block. So this morning, 8 to 10, I was kind of uh, just using all of that time to do some house stuff. So I changed a couple beds of sheets. I got laundry going. I got the three little kids doing their morning jobs. Uh, Joe, he always collects the dirty laundry for me and dumps it into the um, porch bathroom. Peter unloads the dishwasher and Maria matches up socks and puts everybody's socks away. So I got them going on that, which, you know, I mean, that takes some time <laughs> to get them moving. And um, what else did I do? Did I say I got laundry going? Uh, just kind of, oh, I scrubbed the tub. Um, just stuff like just kind of house type stuff that needs to be done um, to keep things kind of flowing and somewhat clean around this place okay now i'm onto my kitchen block like i said and uh this is just kind of continuing here with my sunday prep video but what i want to show you is that i brought out the cake so i'm going to get the cake frosted i brought out my meat it says ground beef it's really ground venison um, about a month back, I thawed, I think, four of our venison roasts because we were completely out of, like, deer burger. And so I thawed those roasts, and I got those um, ground up. And so I'm going to make, I'm going to get this going with that onion that I have in the fridge. Okay, it's balancing underneath some zucchini <laughs> that I have in another container. So, okay, I'm going to get that out in a minute, but I'm going to get that going on the stove. So I also need to get these pickles out of the way, get those carried downstairs, and then here is the muffin batter. It's still a little bit frozen. I had it in the fridge overnight, but at least it's a little bendable. <laughs> Okay, so while the meat goes, what I'm gonna do is get this chocolate frosting opened. And before you actually frost anything, do you take a little scoop out? Mmm. Mmm. That's tasty. I'm just gonna microwave this for 30 seconds and get it soft and pourable. We're gonna put it right over top of the cake. And then we're just going to pour it over the cake okay and that is it I'm gonna put the cover back on boy is that even gonna fit without let's check okay now let's lift it off oh perfect okay so I'm gonna put that back in the fridge and then I was thinking that we would save this for supper but lunch is in about an hour and ten minutes and um, Warren and Sam and Cody, and that's Sam's friend who works on the marsh here with him for the summer. They are all going to be coming in for lunch, and I thought, you know what, they might actually like a piece of dessert. So maybe we'll cut into this here right away for lunch, 
of course there'll be some left for supper as well. So I'm gonna get started now on the zucchini chocolate chip muffins. I have to do three cups of oil. I hope I have enough of milk, juice, Taking the time yesterday to put together all the dry ingredients has really saved me a ton of time today. This is one big bowl of muffin mix. So this is times six. Four. So I have this much in this bag. We're pretty much split down the middle. So I think what I'm gonna do today Let's do all the muffins first, and then I'm going to throw some nuts in to the ones I make into quick bread. So I've jumped over to the beefalata mix again, and I just added in um, taco seasoning. So I do have my recipe is online, it is in a YouTube video. I'll link to that if you guys wish for um, a homemade taco seasoning recipe, you could try mine. You can always you know, add spices to it if you need to spice it up or change it a little bit. Mine is super simple. Um, okay, I'm going to get this turned off here. I have to go out and grab the rice to get in here and then some enchilada sauce and this is gonna be so good. Beefaladas are not made by specific measurements. It's whatever meat you want with some onion and some taco seasoning and some already cooked rice and cheese and enchilada sauce. That is basically, actually not even basically, that's exactly what it is. And then you just mix it up. It always results in way more than you intended to make because, I don't know, I just start adding and then pretty soon I have a lot of it. <laughs> I'm gonna add cheese now, quite a bit of cheese. This is the completed finished product of the beefaladas. So like I said, that is, <laughs> they are playing in the living room. So this is, and the phone is ringing. Okay, so I do have three glass pans of different sizes. Since I'm not gonna be making these right away tonight, I don't wanna use a metal pan just because I don't like them sitting in the refrigerator uh, in the metal. Uh, so I have this great big 10 by 15, I think it is. Maria, shh, shh, shh. And then I have this little tiny one, I think this is 11 by seven, and this might be something like a 10 by 8 or something. I don't know. But anyway, doesn't really matter. I'm just going to roll up the meat in these tortillas. Again, I do typically use the bigger ones, but this last time I had Sam with me and this was just what we ended up getting. Oop, I'm going to have to use way less, I think. Look at this water bottle. I put this, whoops, this is the one on the right. Here, I'll show it to you. Okay, dishes are all done back there and I am all finished with this Sunday and turned into Monday prep <laughs> for the week. So I feel very, very uh, confident that we are going to eat well this week, that I have things ready to go and I'm gonna package up all these muffins. They're all nicely cool and we're gonna get those in the freezer. Thank you guys for hanging out with me. If you haven't already subscribed, I sure would appreciate that. And then hit the little bell, you'll get notifications so you'll know when there's a new video. I appreciate you all being here and you guys have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.